Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be going over how you guys can buy a nice luxury timepiece like this one. This is a Rolex two-tone. It's a uh, stainless steel on gold. Um, how you guys can buy it, wear it for a couple of months and then sell it for a profit, okay? Maybe you guys wanna go ahead and take your girl out, you know, and have a nice watch. Maybe you wanna go ahead and post it on the gram, you know, I don't discriminate. Or maybe you guys have some clients or you guys are gonna go to networking events and you guys just wanna go ahead and show up with the Rolex because we all know that if you show up with one of your clients with a Rolex, they're gonna go ahead and take you more seriously. You know, I don't agree with it, but that's just how our society is. And if you can't beat them, go ahead and join them. What we're gonna be teaching in this video is this, how to go ahead and actually buy luxury timepieces, what to look out for when buying these timepieces, how to avoid buying a fake timepiece, how to change your mindset from thinking that these timepieces are a liability to being a investment. And I will be showing you guys where I learned how to go ahead and buy these timepieces. Just in case you guys want to learn and do the business, I'm going to be showing you guys how I learned, okay? Now guys, in this channel, what we actually teach you guys is all things entrepreneur. So if you guys find this video useful, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the channel because it motivates me to go ahead and make more videos for you guys. So it's like a win-win situation, okay? So go ahead and press the like button, send me a comment, Comment, go to my Instagram page, Dan's Biz One on One, and on my Instagram page, we go over all things entrepreneurship. You can go ahead and ask me any questions. If you go ahead and send me a DM, I check my DMs every single day. So let me stop wasting you guys' time. Let's go straight into the content. So how do you get started with buying these luxury timepieces? Okay, the first thing that I would recommend you guys to do when buying these timepieces is this: make sure you know exactly what you're buying. Don't go and try to buy an Omega and then try to buy a Rolex and then try to buy some other type of brands. No guys, make sure that you know the exact brand that you want and the exact model and the exact year. The reason you guys wanna go ahead and do this is because I want you guys to go ahead and learn the brand that, you're wanna, that you wanna buy. Now this is gonna be crucial because now you're gonna be making less mistakes. You're gonna know exactly how much you should pay for it. You're gonna be knowing exactly how the face moves. You're gonna know exactly how the font is. You're gonna know exactly everything. This is gonna help you from getting scammed and it's going to help you because you're gonna learn how to buy these watches at the exact price to go ahead and actually make you a profit, okay? So that's step one is go ahead and research the brand that you wanna go ahead and get started with. Now, if you guys don't have a big budget, you guys wanna go ahead and get started, one watch that I do recommend is going over to the Omegas. Try, you know, try out the Planet Ocean. That one's not too expensive. You can buy it for a couple of thousands of dollars and you guys can go ahead and wear it for a couple of months. Those things keep their value pretty good and then you guys can go ahead and sell it later, later on, okay? Now, where do you go and actually buy one of these watches, okay? Now, the first place that I would recommend you guys look is eBay. Just go on eBay and find the exact brand, exact model and find out exactly how much it costs in there. Go and run some comps. Now what a comp is, is just in a comparable sale. So look at the last watches that sold on eBay, the exact brand, exact model at a specific time in the last 30 days and that will give you a basic idea of how much that you can sell your watch when you go ahead and try to sell it on maybe eBay or something like that. Now after you find the comparables, now you know the exact number not to pay over, okay? You wanna make sure that you buy your watch below that. And now the profit's gonna be up to you. I try to make at least 2,000, maybe $1,000 profit. You guys can go ahead and make 500. It all depends on your business model, but since I'm putting all this work on product research or whatnot, I wanna make at least you know $2,000 off my watches. So if a watch costs $5,000, I might aim to get it for $3,000, maybe $4,000. Another place where you guys can go ahead and start finding these watches is watch forms. Go to Google and type in the brand that you wanna go ahead and buy. So if you want an Omega or if you want a Rolex, just write Omega uh, forms or write uh, Forex forms. And what those forms do is they just have people trying to sell watches or they have people talking about watches. Just join those communities so you guys know. So you have a basic idea of the watch that you're gonna buy later on, okay? After those forms, I would recommend going on Craigslist. Another good place is Facebook Marketplace. And another good place is going on Facebook group pages. Now join different watch group pages, you know, and just see what people are selling. Now let's move forward to how not to get scammed because this is very important when buying these watches. Now, one key thing that I recommend everyone to do when they're buying watches is buy the person and not the watch. Okay, now what does this mean? When you actually buy the person, you know, make sure that, that they're trustworthy. Make sure that they have their receipts. Make sure that they have their box and papers. Make sure that they have a proper reason on why they're selling that watch, okay? 
make sure that they have some references that you can go ahead and contact to see that they're a legit seller. Nobody's gonna care that you're asking a lot of questions, so make sure that you ask, why are you selling it? And if they tell you a weird story of why they're selling it, oh, my uncle Jim, you know, was a trucker and he gave me the box with no box or papers and you know, blah, 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 guys. One thing I always say is if the watch comes with a story, then I don't want that watch. The reason I say this is because people will make up some crazy stories when in reality it's a fake watch from China. So make sure that the story lines up with the person, okay? So if you're buying it from like a Facebook marketplace and you look at their profile and they don't look like a person that has the luxury lifestyle, you know, and they're trying to sell you a $10,000, $5,000 watch, guys, it just doesn't make sense, okay? So just make sure that you cross your T's and dot your I's and use your common sense because your common sense is going to help you a lot. And if the deal is too good to be true, then it most likely is going to be a fake watch, okay? So if you see a nice Rolex that costs $15,000, they're selling it for $4,000, guys, use your common sense on that one. It is going to be a fake watch don't just skip it there's gonna be a lot of those people that just you know don't want to do business like that so that, now this is key advice just make sure that the person you're buying it from is you know has a proper reason why they're selling it you you do you, if you just use your common sense then guys you're not going to get ripped off and now we're going to move into who you need on your team when you're buying these watches okay one thing i would recommend is becoming friends with some jewelers in your city, you know, join some meetup groups with jewelers, you know, get familiar with them. Maybe they might invite you to their store. You might be able to start looking in their uh, inventory, ask questions of how much they'll pay for the uh, boxes because there, now there's going to be different prices when buying these luxury watches. Okay. There's going to be the price from the comparable sales that you saw on eBay. And there's going to be the price that you see from jewelers. Okay. Now a jeweler is going to buy it less than on eBay because they're trying to make a profit too. They're trying to sell it a little bit over um, the, the comparable price from eBay. What I would highly recommend is first checking out the comparables on eBay, then asking a jeweler to see how much they'll pay for it. And whatever the jewelers say he'll pay for it, make sure you get it a little bit under. And if all else fails, I always make sure that I buy my, my watches below a jeweler just, be, just in case I can't sell it on eBay, I can't sell it to other people that I know, then I can at least sell it to the jeweler for at least breaking value or a slight profit. So that's a key note. So always ask a jeweler how much they'll pay for it and buy it at their price and then sell it at the ebay comparable price or get it a little bit lower from the jeweler and then sell it to him if you can't sell it any other way now the best way to go ahead and start selling these watches right here is like this is through people that you know it's going to be consumers okay so instead of even trying to sell it on ebay i would try to sell it to people that i know so i might post it on instagram I might post it on my Facebook. Hey, I got this watch. If anybody's interested, I might post a picture of it on my uh, on my Instagram story, and then someone might comment, "Hey, that's a nice watch." And then I'll go ahead and try to pitch it. Hey, you know, if you're interested in the watch, go ahead, and then, you know, I might I'll sell it to you for ten thousand dollars. And when you're selling it to people you know, that's when you're going to be making the most amount of money. So make sure that you post it on social media. Make sure that you make it aware that you're selling these watches because now maybe someone's uncle or maybe someone's trying to find a gift for their dad or maybe someone's trying to find a gift for themselves. They just graduated and they want to, you know, spurge, but they don't want to buy the retail or Rolex, but they want, you know, something a little bit older. Now that's where you come in and that's when you start building a reputation. And now this is where I'm gonna come in and tell you guys, if you guys have any Rolex watches, Omega, or any type of watches that you wanna go ahead and sell, go ahead and go to my Instagram page, Dan's Biz One on One, and sell it over to me if you guys are interested. I'll go ahead and pay you cash. Or if you guys wanna go ahead and buy this Rolex from me, go ahead to Dan's Biz One on One. And you know, this, this Rolex is gonna sell like hotcakes, so make sure you do it pretty quick, you know, and tell me that you're interested in the watch, and you know, maybe I might cut you a deal. So like I'm saying, guys, your network, okay? Try to sell it to people that you know, because that's how you're gonna be making the most amount of money. But like I said, if you guys are interested in selling a watch, you guys can always hit me up, and I'm always interested in buying watches, okay? Now, let me go ahead and take you guys out of that mindset of thinking that these watches are liabilities and not investments okay so let's let me give you two examples i'm gonna give you i'm gonna name this guy bob and i'm gonna name this guy uh drake so there's bob and drake okay bob has five thousand dollars drake has five thousand dollars 
Bob keeps his money in his banking account while Drake over here wants to buy a Rolex for $5,000, okay? Drake is a smart dude and he doesn't just go and buy a brand new Rolex from the jewelry store. He buys it used and he buys it below what the jeweler is trying to pay for. Okay, so one year passes and you know, Bob makes 0.1% off his money off the bank. So now he has, I don't know, I'm just making a number up my head. He has like, uh, if he has 5,000, let's say he has $5,000 plus 10 cents. Okay, and that's how much profit he made from keeping it in the bank. Now, while over here, Drake was wearing his Rolex, networking with people, getting business deals, getting friends, good relationships with high income earners, wearing the watch. And at the end of the year, the, the watch went ahead and appreciated in value and he bought it at a good price. So now he's making $8,000 instead of that $5,000 off that watch. Now, who do you want to be, guys? Do you want to be the Bob that's just that just has it in his bank, and, you know, made 10 cents off his investment? Or do you want to be like Drake, where he has a nice Rolex on his wrist, he posted on Instagram, you know, he, you know, got a lot of high network individuals to talk to him because they saw his watch and they complimented him. He had a conversation with him. Now he has high income earners in his inner circle. Who do you want to be, guys? So this is where it comes to changing your mindset because at the end of the day, that $5,000 that you spent on a watch, isn't what you spent it's just something because this watch is still going to keep its value so at the end of the day you you, you didn't really spend ten uh five thousand you just transferred the money into a different object a object that appreciates in time what i like to call this is wealth transferring okay because a lot of people think that when they when they buy a rolex that they lost their five thousand dollars forever in reality it's not the case because remember that it always appreciates so not only is it not only is your money working for you and you have an investment on your wrist where you can go ahead and network with high individuals, you know, so basically what I'm trying to say is an investment, okay? Buying these watches is an investment if you do it properly. And let me go over really quick how to go ahead and buy a watch. I will buy a watch using PayPal so I can go ahead and, you know, send it to my jeweler and make sure that it's real before I actually purchase it. And the thing about PayPal is if anything goes wrong, you can get your money back, okay? And if I'm trying to sell a watch, make sure that you get it wired to your bank account now, because when it gets wired to your bank account, you know, if they're trying to say that it's fake or they try to, you know, scam you, they can't because now it's wired to your bank account. You have the money, there's nothing they can do about it, okay? And the last thing I just want to mention is guys, please do your due diligence. Don't sell fake watches because if you start building a reputation of a person that sells fake watches, that's only gonna hurt you in the long run. So make sure that you do clean business, okay? And lastly, if you guys wanna go ahead and learn how to properly flip these watches, the way I learned was through Watch Trading Academy. I'm gonna put the link below just in case you guys are interested. They do a great job explaining on how to go ahead and flip these luxury watches. So go ahead and I'm gonna leave the link below. Another good thing about joining this program is it also gives you a community of people. So, so what I did when I went ahead and bought my Rolex is I went and I posted it on the group page asking everyone to you know double check if the watch was real. As soon as everybody confirmed that the watch was real, I went ahead and I purchased this. This is another key thing is having, um, being in group pages, being in forums, just to make sure you did your due diligence, you followed, you make sure that you, you know, looked at the brand, the exact model that you wanted, you look at the font, you know, just, you know, you just did your homework. The second thing you guys can go ahead and do is clear it with a jeweler. And the third thing you guys can do is you guys can join a group page, like the group page that I joined through the Watch Flipping Academy, and then they'll go ahead and confirm it too, okay? So it's just, there's no way that this business will fail if you just do it properly. And like I said, if you guys wanna learn how to do the business, like how I learned how to do the business, go ahead and you know click the link below and that's how I learned. So just in case you guys wanted to learn how to do that too. And the last, last thing that I wanted to go ahead and mention is, if you guys wanna go ahead and learn how to go ahead and afford these watches, in this YouTube channel, I actually teach different businesses that teach you how to make, that are different, weird, that are just different side hustles that you most likely didn't hear about. We go over all that in this channel, so go ahead and subscribe and check out the other videos. That's how I was able to afford this watch. I used my other businesses to go ahead and generate income and then I went ahead and I invested in these watches where I use these watches to go ahead and network with high individuals and then sell it for a profit. So if you guys wanna learn how to do that too, check out my other videos on my YouTube channel, okay? Don't forget to go to my Instagram, dancebiz101, 
follow it and if you have any questions go ahead and ask me over there and if you guys have any watches that you guys want to go ahead and sell go ahead and send me a dm on dan's biz one-on-one let's work something out let's work a deal out and if you guys want to go ahead and buy this rolex from me go ahead to dan's biz one-on-one again you know send me a follow send me a message i get I'm, I'm gonna be getting watches all the time so go ahead and send me a message since you came through youtube we could do a nice good price and that's basically going to be it for this video. If you guys found it any type of useful, guys, please give me a like. I'll be dropping more videos about watch flipping. I'll be dropping more videos on side hustles. And go to my Instagram, follow me, and I'll see you guys later. All right.